Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss model checking or table based approach to check the given conclusion is valid or invalid in artificial intelligence by considering the Umfosswald example. Model checking or table approach is a simple inference procedure. The goal is to decide whether the knowledge base logically entails the given conclusion or the sentence here. That means whenever the knowledge base is true, we are expecting the sentence should be true. If that is the case, the Knowledge base logically entails the given query and the given query is valid in this case. Following are the steps in model checking approach. In the first step, what we do is we will enumerate the models. That means we need to assign true or false to every proposition symbol in the given sentence. Once we do that one, we need to extract the knowledge base where the model is true. Let's assume that you have assigned a true and false to each proposition symbol and then you have drawn the true table. Out of that, we need to select only those models where the knowledge base is uh, true in this case. Now, once you select uh, those uh, models, what we need to do is uh, we need to check whether the alpha, that is the query or the sentence is true or not in every model where the knowledge base is true. If alpha is true in every model where the knowledge base is true, the meaning of this one is knowledge base logically entails alpha. The meaning of this one is alpha is a valid statement in this case. Let's assume that I have considered the two queries or the conclusions. In this case, the alpha one means uh, there is no pit in 1 comma 2. Similarly, I have considered uh, one more conclusion that is there is no pit in 2 comma 2. I want to check whether these two statements are valid or not in this case. Now, if you want to check uh, alpha one is valid or not, we need to check what knowledge base logically entails alpha one or not. Similarly, for uh, alpha 2, we need to check whether the knowledge base logically entails alpha 2 or not. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to construct the knowledge base. For that reason, first what we do is uh, we will decide what are the uh, notations we will use uh, for constructing the knowledge base in the UMFOS world. In this case, I am going to use the notations like uh, P x comma y. It is true whenever there is a pit in x comma y. W x y is true whenever there is a UMFOS in x comma y. B x y is true whenever uh, agent perceives a breeze in x comma y. Yes, x comma y is nothing but what uh, the agent has perceived stench in x comma y in this case. So these are the notations I am going to use to construct the knowledge base here. Now let's assume that the agent has already moved from square one comma one to two comma one, and he has perceived breeze in this case. Now what we do is uh, for each of the sentence so while constructing the knowledge base, we will name them as Ri. That is nothing but R1, R2, R3 so that we can refer them at the later stage. The first uh, uh, sentence what we have taken is R1 is nothing but negation of P11. We 100% sure that there is no pit in 1, 1. So that's the reason we have taken this sentence that is uh, negation of P11 here. Now for agent to perceive breeze in 1, 1. There must be pit in uh, 2 comma 1 or 1 comma 2 or in both the squares here. So that's the reason we can write R2 is equal to. This means uh, the agent will perceive breeze if and only if there is a pit in P1 comma 2 or P2 comma 1. Similarly, the agent will perceive breeze in uh, 2 comma 1 if and only if there is a pit in 1 comma 1 or 2 comma 2 or 3 comma 1 in this case or any of these combinations. So that is what we have written here. We know few more uh, facts here that is uh, there is no breeze in 1 comma 1 because uh, 1 comma 1 is the safest square. There is no breeze here. Similarly, there is a breeze in uh, 2 comma 1 here. So that is what I have written in this particular case. Now what we have written is we have written uh, five sentences uh, for these uh, five squares. This much is enough to answer the queries or the conclusion what we have considered in the previous slide. Now what we do is uh, from these uh, uh, sentences that is R1 to R5, uh, we have to construct the two table. For that reason, first we will identify the unique symbols. P11 is the first one, B11 is the second one, P12 third, P21, B21, P11 is already considered here, P22, P31, uh, This is these are the unique symbols. So totally how many are there? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 unique symbols are there or you can say unique literals in this case. Now, considering these 7 literals, we need to uh, draw the two table. Because there are 7 uh, unique symbols are there, you will be getting 2 raised to 7 which is equal to 128 uh, 
possible rows or you can say that the possible models in this case. It is very difficult to write all uh, 128 rows here. So, I will be considering a few of these rows and then I will explain uh, how can we extract the knowledge base out of these 128 models in this case. So, initially I have written each of these symbols in the first row. Uh, the seven symbols are there. Initially, we have considered everything is false here. Next time we have considered the last one is true. If we write the next one, this will become true and this will become false here. The same thing will be repeated uh, for few more uh, possibilities and we got this row. What is this? False, true, false, 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 false and false here. Now, after this, what we get? This false will be converted into true here. So, that is what I have written here and uh, this will be moved here if you write uh, the true table and uh, because uh, true and false is there, the next one must be true and true here. If you write the next one, because these two are true, the next one will become true and these two will become false here. And the same thing you have to continue until you will get all trues over here. So, totally how many rows or the models we will get? We will get 128 models in this case. Now, we will try to check the truthness and falsity of this, uh, the knowledge base here. The knowledge base is what? Knowledge base is a conjunction of all these uh, five sentences here. That is, knowledge base is a conjunction of R1, conjunction R2, conjunction R3, conjunction R4, conjunction R5. What is the meaning of that one is? For knowledge base to be true, all these five sentences should be true here. Now, we will check the first model, whether it is true or false. If you consider the first model here, you can notice here, uh, for R1 to be true, they should not be put in uh, P1, 1. So, if you go and check here, uh, P11 is false. That means, there is no uh, pit here. This is for perfectly true in this case. If you go with R2, R2 what it says? B11. B11 is what here? B11 is false. If it is false, because it is a biconditional, for entire statement to be true, this should also be false here. False, biconditional false will become true in that case. So, P12 or P21. P12 is false. P21 is false. False or false is equal to false. False, biconditional false is equal to true in this case. If you go with the next one, that is B21. B21 is false here. If Because it is false, this entire thing should be false here. For that reason, we will check it. P11 is false. P22 is false, P31 is false, entire thing is false means you will get false here. False by conditional false is equivalent to false again. Now, we will check this one. What is R4? R4 says that there is no breeze in 1, 1. We will check it out B11. It is a false. The meaning is this is also true here. What it says? R5. There should be breeze in uh, 2, 1. That means there should be true here. But what is present here? We have false. The meaning of this one is this statement is false. First four statements are the true, but the fifth one is false. If you take the conjunction of all these things, the entire thing will become what? False here. That is what the output of uh, first model, which is equivalent to false in this case. Similarly, you can uh, uh, find the truthness and falsity for the remaining models. I will consider one more model just for understanding purpose. I will consider this one. So, in this case, you can see here uh, what R1 says again. They should not be put in P1, 1. Yes, there is a false here. This means it is true. I will go with this one, B11. What is B11? False here. Because it is false, P1, 2 or P2, 1 should be false here. P1, 2 is false. P2, 1 is equal to false. Because both of them are false, false by conditional false is equal to true again here. Coming back to R3, B21. What B21? It is a true here. Because it is true here, this entire statement should be true. Then only the whole statement will become true here. So P11 is false. P22 is false, false or false or P31. P31 was true in this case. False or false or true is nothing but true here. True by conditional true is true in this case. Coming back to the next sentence that is R4, it says uh, there is no breeze in uh, 1, 1. The meaning of this one is we are expecting false here. Yes, we have a false in this case. Coming back to the last sentence that is uh, B2, 1. B2, 1 means there is a breeze in 2, 1. It must be true here. Yes, we have a true in this case. So, this is also true and this is also true. All five sentences are true. The meaning of this one is the conjunction of all is true. The knowledge base is also true here. Similarly, if you apply the same logic, you will get the two more rows where the uh, knowledge base is true here. Out of 128, there are three models in which the knowledge base is true here. Now, once you get this particular thing, uh, what we need to do is we need to check whether the conclusions are valid or invalid. I will start with the first one that is alpha 1 is uh, there is no pit in uh, 1 comma 2. Now, what we need to do? We need to check whether the knowledge base logically entails alpha 1. 
नॉलेज बेस इज नथिंग बट वॉट ओनली थ्री रूल्स और द थ्री मॉडल्स वेन एवर नॉलेज बेस इज ट्रू वे आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अल्फा वन शुड बी ट्रू वट इज अल्फा वन अल्फा वन इज नेगेशन ऑफ पी वन कॉमा टू इट मीन्स दे शुड बी फॉल्स इन पी वन कॉमा टू हियर देन ओनली अल्फा वन इज ट्रू हियर सो वेर एवर नॉलेज बेस इज ट्रू वी विल चेक दिस अल्फा वन सो अल्फा वन इज वॉट पी वन कॉमा टू पी वन कॉमा टू इज फॉल्स हियर P1 comma 2 is false here. P1 comma 2 is false here. So in all the three cases, we got false, and we are expecting the same thing because they should not be put in uh, P1 comma 2 in this case. The meaning of this one is whenever knowledge base is true, alpha 1 is also true here. Because of that, we can say that alpha 1 is a valid statement in this case. Coming back to the one more uh, conclusion that is alpha 2, there is no put in 2 comma 2. That means negation of P. टू कॉमा टू सो दिस इज वॉट द वन मोर सेंटेंस और द कंक्लूजन वी वॉन्ट टू चेक द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वन इज अगेन वॉट दे शुड नॉट बी पिट मीन्स वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग फॉल्स इन पी टू कॉमा टू सो वील चेक इट आउट इन नॉलेज बेस दैट इज नॉलेज बेस इज ट्रू इन थ्री मॉडल्स विद इन दैट वी विल चेक पी टू कॉमा टू इट इज फॉल्स वन टाइम एंड इट ट्रू टू टाइम द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वन इज दिस अल्फा टू इज ट्रू वन टाइम बिकॉज वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग वॉट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग फॉल्स हियर इट मीन्स ट्रू because we are expecting false but we got true here the meaning is it is a false here so the alpha 2 is true one time and it is false two time here because it is false two times within a knowledge base we can say that alpha 2 whatever we have it is a invalid statement or it is not a uh, valid statement in this case so this is how we can check whether the given conclusions are valid or invalid using model checking or table based approach in artificial intelligence I hope the concept of uh, model checking or two table based inference procedure is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.